Hello, today we are reviewing the Biodynamic DT1350 on-ear headphone. Now this version is the old one and not the new one that Biodynamic recently released. Uh, this originally was had an MSRP of $330, however, uh, you can find it on Amazon and other sites for less than $200, mostly at around $180 to $220 uh, price range. Uh, this headphone is a uh, super oral headphone, as you can uh, as you can see. The ear cups are rather small, so it definitely goes on ear. Uh, so if 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 you know, I know a lot of people that don't like on ear headphones. If you're one of them, then you can immediately cross this out from your list. Let's talk about the physical appearance of this headphone. This headphone is uh, built pretty well, I would say. Uh, the parts are mostly made of, of metal. Like this part here is metal. This uh, adjustment here is metal as well. This one is, this veil is metal and this one is like some kind of hard plastic but overall I, I thought this headphone is uh, built well. The pads here are s some kind of synthetic leather which is which, which is a good quality leather. Um, it doesn't you know feel, it, it's not the softest but it easily f conforms to my ear which gives me a good seal and a good sound isolation. Uh, the headphone is a also a DJ headphone as it does, I mean, it, it does adjust, but at the same time it swivels like this. And it does this for both, uh, both sides. It can also be done here. It reminds me of the Sennheiser HD25, which I believe uh, was the, one of the originals for this kind of feature. But for this one, it does this for both sides, whereas the HD21, HD25 only does it on the, I think, on the right side, if I'm not mistaken. The cord is single-sided. It terminates on the left ear cups. It's, uh, it's actually a thick cord for, a, for this type, as the cord usually here for an on-ear headphone is thin. And this one right here, uh, I don't know if you can see properly, I, I think this is just built well. It's almost in indestructible. The This one is a thick straight plug and the problem with this um, is that, you know, it's it's so thick that if you have a protective case on your, on your iPod or whatever, it, this won't simply just go in, so it sucks. Uh, this headphone also comes with this uh, semi-hard case, which is very nice. Of, you know, I, I wish all headphones over hundred dollars are you know come come with a carry case. Uh, this has a good-looking case. It also comes with a uh, an airline adapter and a 3.5 or a, a, a half-inch adapter. I'd say. Now let's go back to the headphone again. This headphone is uh, one of my favorite on-ear or one of my favorite portable headphones because it isolates well. Uh, I, I commute every day going to work and you know as we all know if you do commute having a headphone that allows you to block out the noise passively helps a lot and this headphone really does it well. Um, I think this is one of my better passive noise isolating headphones. Now let's uh, let's talk about the sound signature. Oh, before we move to that, I, this headphone also has this uh, split headband splitting feature here. Uh, this is actually a really good feature because I find that if I split this, then the headphone is more secure in my head. I mean, the headphone itself, in its default form, is already secure in my head. But if I do this, 
that it even makes it more secure, which is really nice. Now let's talk about the sound quality. The sound quality of this headphone as a whole is is good. Uh, the signature is uh, is quite linear, I would say. It has a uh, the the bass is, is extends really low. It's not accentuated. It's uh, but it's very very uh, impactful, I, I would say. Um, it's uh, depending on the tracks. I think you would find the bass here in this headphone to be really, really satisfying. The mid-range is also good. It is. It it has some warmth in it. But if you if you're used to most headphones that are considered to be warm sounding, then you would find the mid-range here a bit, uh, a bit, a bit dry. I would say a bit shrill. I I read some comments about this describing the mid-range to be shrill I, I don't agree with it but I think that you know because of its dry nature the mid-range is not as resolving as let's say a warm sounding headphone like Audio Technica ESW9 or or even perhaps the Sony MDR1R nonetheless the mid-range is not recessed and uh, going to the treble region I find this to be uh, good as well. Like the lower treble is uh, is very is not very but is is pronounced. Uh, I think it has good clarity around the lower to mid treble for a super oral headphone at least. But then uh, it it lacks uh, a bit on the uh, last uh, octave. The, the, top treble but then as a whole I, I feel that the highs in this headphone is really good I like listening to uh, progressive uh, music like Dream Theater and I find this headphone to be very very satisfying uh, the overall uh, signature of this headphone is that it's 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 a little bit on the fast side maybe uh, except the bass but Overall, the headphone is uh, is quite is quite neutral. I would say the treble is there, the mid range is there, the bass is there, and uh, for a uh, a non ear headphone, it's amazing how they've done it to sound this good considering how small the ear cups are. Uh, well, sound stage and uh, it's, it's not it's it's quite small because this is an a closed small headphone. But then you know, I find the uh, this its ability to separate in instruments uh, well I, I, I think they've done a good job there maybe not as good as the Sennheiser HD 25 or Amperior but I think it's a you know pretty darn good headphone in terms of uh, instru separating instruments and layering them uh, so I think that's it do I uh, recommend this headphone I think I do especially it's not $300 anymore if you can find it below $200 then this headphone is is just a good headphone for especially for that price now I haven't heard the new buyer dynamic DD1350 yet but you know I I don't know if the price increase considering this the street price of this has gone down to you know less than almost less than half or almost half of the price but I think that this is a good overall headphone. It sounds good overall. It isolates particularly well. It is sturdy, well built. Probably not the most comfortable uh, headphone. But then your overall, it's a very, very competitive headphone. So this is the review of the Bayer Dynamic DT1350. Uh, thanks for watching.